Hey everybody, check this out. I can't believe how many places on this trip I'm going where I've never stood before. And here we are on the Battle of Sugarloaf. Um, this Sugarloaf battlefield, we're talking February 11th, 1865. And in two or two and a half minutes, we'll hear from Chris Fonville about this site and its dedication just a few weeks ago. Okay, this was the, this was the first battle fought in the Wilmington campaign. It was the predecessor to the Battle of Forks Road. Um, these works were built as auxiliary uh, defenses to Fort Fisher uh, down at uh, the mouth of the Cape Fear River. Uh, the works were started in October of 1864 to contest a Union landing uh, that was uh, threatened by the fall of 1864. And this site was occupied by three brigades of General uh, Robert F. Polk's division in January and February of 1865. Uh, unfortunately, those troops were not used well to reinforce Fort Fisher, which the Federals captured on January the 15th, and then they turned their gun sights on capturing Wilmington, the Cape Fear Wilmington's railroads, in support of General William T. Sherman's Carolinas campaign. Uh, after being reinforced in early February of 65, uh, the Federals began their push against Wilmington, the Wilmington campaign, and the first battle that they fought was at this site, and these works, magnificent. Uh, these broad, strong field works uh, at one time ran all the way from Myrtle Grove Sound to the east to the Cape Fear River for a stretch of about a mile and a half. And uh, this, uh, this section was donated to the town of Carolina Beach uh, to be made into a Civil War park. The Federal Point Historic Preservation Society and volunteers uh, worked on this site for eight years and we dedicated it on February the 11th, uh, 2021. So it is a uh, beautiful and well-preserved uh, Civil War site and I uh, encourage y'all to come and visit it. It's the Joseph Ryder Lewis Jr. Civil War Park at Carolina Beach, North Carolina.